What is going on, guys? We are back with another episode in our Oklahoma City Nighthawks Relocation Fantasy Draft franchise. The fact that I got that in one take is actually nuts. Almost have to do a second take because I mentioned it. But we are about to take on the Chicago Bears in Week 7. Of course, we had a couple of tough opponents. Very important matchups on top of it. The Cowboys and the Washington football team. And unfortunately, oh, the Commanders. Uh, unfortunately, we dropped both games and only by three. Obviously, in both games, we looked pretty bad at times. But we decided to kind of chillax, relax, react, and just slow things down. And it worked out. So if we can actually do that out the gate, only take what it looks like is working. Only take what the defense has given us. You know, if we're developing a big play, but let's say it's second and 10, and there's a four-yard open receiver, you know, the guy's going to get four yards. I think you just take it, right? I know your four yards isn't great, but it sets up a third and six. It's doable. Third and 10 is nearly impossible, especially with this roster to, uh, you know, convert. So I think we just need to be smarter earlier in the game. Sometimes there's just nothing we can do. You know, once again, our talent level right now, they need to develop more. And in general, it's just not good, right? I mean, we're just, we're getting smoked across the board. I mean, our right tackle spot has been destroyed. I really like Spencer Brown, but Brian Burns, who's been not great because he's playing with this, you know, really bad team. We're hoping he can maybe elevate them, could be on the trade block. And of course, week eight is a bye week for us, which is almost perfect for trying to make a trade before the deadline. All right, so we did get a breakout, which is massive. We have some injury returnings, which is great, because obviously Jordan Davis and Drake Jackson being hurt were big. We also have, apparently, trade offers. I, I haven't even remembered seeing this as a thing in the game. And as of right now, the offers are awful. I mean, these so far, these are just terrible. We've seen a second-round pick, which is fair enough. I mean, these are just terrible offers. I mean, there's not even a single one I would debate taking. Like, not even close. I'd be looking for a first-round pick minimum, and you'd probably have to add in, like, an 80 overall player, and right now, we're just not seeing that. Once again, these are trade block offers, so it's not like, you know, these are must-grab players in their eyes, you know, must-trade-for players, so... Yeah, that's pretty trash, uh, but what's not trash is that we have a breakout. We're going to get right into that and look at it before anything, and it's Javian Hawkins, a guy that I feel pretty good about getting this, as it's only 100 yards or two touchdowns, usually gets about 100 yards in the game, whether it's like 60 rushing, 50 receiving, uh, but that's, that's pretty good. He's a playmaker, he's a skill position, and uh, ultimately you win games by putting up points, so the better our skill position player get, you know, the players get... Better chance we have at, you know, actually winning some games. Of course, Dak Prescott, after playing us last week, uh, did get player of the week. I'm a little surprised, though. Two interceptions. I know it was a decent game, but two interceptions? That's, I mean, I don't know. I, I kind of disagree with that, but hey, it is what it is. Looking at our roster, in case you are new to this series, new to the franchise, new to the channel, maybe, maybe subscribe. You know, this is a really fun series for me so far. And, uh, yeah, this is what the roster looks like, of course. You guys want to know kind of the backstory of that? If you haven't paid attention to the series, check out episode one. I'm not going to go into it every time, but this is what the roster looks like. Of course, Sky Moore kind of disappeared last week, to my knowledge. I'm trying to remember. It's really hard. There's a lot of forgettable performances when your main focus is just getting destroyed. Uh, defensively, Drake Jackson was out for the whole game. Uh, pretty much, Jordan Davis was literally out for the whole game. Uh, Padre Peterson burned a lot on curls, but did come away with a pick near pick six. Woolen was decent. Anderson, there was a lot of missed tackles this week or last week, which we cannot have happening this week. Now we have to look at their team before we decided to go with the weekly strategy, but I have a good feeling that we already know what our focus is going to be. Well, okay, well, I know what's one thing. Two and five incoming. This is a pretty solid looking roster as well. AJ Brown and Corey Davis return to one another side. Eric Ebron's okay. My lot is a freaking tank. Tooney is pretty damn good. Jensen's amazing. Aaron Banks is a little iffy. And then Brian O'Neill's pretty damn good. D line, of course, they're going to have something lacking. And that interior is really bad. Uh, Hightower is a good player, but he's not super athletic. It's a pretty bad front. That front uh, seven is pretty bad. Got a really good cornerback one. Decent free safety one, but slow. Strong safety's all right. He's been around the block. But, okay, this is a very good offense. Which, I mean, I'd rather have one side really good than the other. Because, I mean, I feel like we're able to be beat on both sides. 
Although, you look at their game, and they're not really that good. I mean, I guess they're going to go with the medium pass, but they seem like they're just not... I mean, even rush yardage isn't amazing. So, I guess we're going to limit their, their media... Ah, you know what? You know what? No, we're not. No, we're not. We're defending the inside run. Dalvin Cook is going to be a big problem. Uh, they're not very good at getting takeaways. They're not good at sacking the quarterback, but they're very good in the pass game. Uh, uh, defense, I think we're going to just try to stop the run, and we're going to try to run the ball ourselves. So, yeah, there's that. And, of course, <laughs> Matt Ariza. Okay, dude. I think the D-line is a little bit more important than a, a punter, believe it or not. They're like, you know what? Let's, let's just start upgrading the guy that actually comes to work every week. And thankfully for the long intro to hopefully come to an end soon, we only had one upgrade, but Tyndall with three to zone coverage. He's a pretty good player. He's had a pretty good start to it, but obviously still a long way to go. Here we are at home again for another kind of earlier game. It sucks because I know we're a bad team, so I understand that they kind of factored that in when scheduling, but this is a brand new stadium. This is a brand new team, if you will. It'd be nice to play some, you know, nighttime games. Obviously, we did have one already, but I want some more, you know? I'm just saying, I want some more. Of course, wanting some more wins is also on the uh, the itinerary here. Once again, can't afford jets, but we got the helicopters. It's pretty good, too. It's, I mean, it's it's kind of neat. We, you know, we're trying to pay off this stadium, uh, try to save some money for actual talent and free agency. Not that there will be any, uh, especially not any that want to come to us. I have to pay them like five mil per year more than the next team probably. But obviously going into this game, we talked about it. The number one thing we need to do is run the ball well in general. We have a breakout obviously, which would be massive to get for Hawkins. But I kind of expect that to come in the receiving game in general anyways. So running the ball regardless of breakout is the goal. It's a weaker interior. I know Hightower is a really good player across the board and probably going to try to limit as much as uh, our run game as he can. And then on the other side, I know they have Watson. I know they have some decent receiving threats, but Dalvin Cook, especially with that offensive line, is easily going to be the biggest threat of today's game. If we want a chance to win, we have to control the trenches, at least in the ground defense and, uh, you know, and the, the ground attack, I suppose. But this is going to be a really challenging game, maybe even the best offense we've faced so far. I just hope our offense can do th some things because, once again, that's a weaker defense they're rocking. Justin Tucker with the max kick power, but quite a bit of wind going against us here. And uh, not a bad fielding, I suppose, to the 22. Now, we've seen some really good quarterback performances from every quarterback so far. Let's see if Watson continues that. And to be honest, not really. Limited in yards. They look like they do run the ball more with Dalvin than they throw it, despite what the uh, – I guess the numbers did kind of reflect that, actually, but not by a whole lot, I guess. Uh, and the uh, touchdown interception ratio is not crazy great. Now, they're already kind of, you know, tricking us a little bit with their front here. I'd imagine this is going to be a pass, but, oh, a little bit of motion. That kind of throws us off. And the tight end gets taken down. I believe that's, no, it's not. It's Cephas. Cephas doesn't look that big, does he? How much padding is this man wearing? <laughs> this guy's weighed down 15 pounds with padding. I guess you can never be too safe. And the running back's pretty open. We got to drop back as there's nobody there. Going to try to get over there with uh, Tyson Anderson. We do get the help, but the hook did not play that deep enough. I mean, I know we did leave the running back open a little bit, but we also kind of covered the over the middle as well. So let's get Tyson Anderson up here because this looks like a run, and it is. And a really good job by Tyndall. Kind of popped Alvin Cook there for only a gain of one. Once again, that is the goal. They got that huge pass, but... You know, you're going to give up something. Just don't let it be the ground game because then they're going to just destroy us all day anyways. As Woolen has a chance. And Cephas, who we confused for a tight end earlier, looking out, you know, side by side with Woolen is pretty easy to tell that he's not. Comes up with kind of a mossing, to be honest. Woolen gets turned around and can't get back in time. And we're going to clear the lane and Tyndall's going to get another tackle. Only gain a three. And I think you have to pick your poison, like I said. And that poison that we're picking is the run game. As Stern's going to try to get in there, does, but the man coverage a little bit too much. There is Ebron, I believe, actually wins on Woolen. Woolen's been pretty good for us this year, but so far, definitely is losing his matchups quite easily here. A little bit frustrating, a little bit worrisome. I expect him to come back strong with a nice big play at some point in this game, but he's definitely got to step it up especially against the talent he's playing against i know he's a rookie and that talent is technically better than him uh but still i just 
I just think he's got to do better as Scott, the new return man for this week. I mean, we just didn't have enough uh, preseason games to test all these return men out. Uh, is going to get us to the 20 only. As Kellen Mond's numbers don't look great, but they're sort of improving. Going to start out with a run with JV and Hawkins. Going to be a little bit of a tough one. They have uh, Hightower kind of bearing down on us. Really good cutback by Hawkins again two. And I forgot that they're in a 3-4, uh, so Christian Harris actually does play quite a bit for them. They're bringing a lot of players down here. I don't know how I feel. Oh, what, are we confused already? Boys, boys, this is going to be a problem. Can we get the right? Thank you. I want the right call. I mean, it took us almost the whole clock there. Sky Moore, that's a tough one. What a dive by uh, Howard, but isn't going to get that. It's going to be a third and two which is manageable. They're absolutely ready for the run, unfortunately. So we're going to turn this into a kind of double drag situation with the tight ends. And there's Davidson, the big 6-7 tight end coming away with a catch. Can't remember if he's actually got involved this year outside of the run game, but that's a nice conversion. Seems like they're also on team limit the run, which, I mean, I suppose the way our pass game has worked, I wouldn't blame it. As they're going to blitz, but they're not going to get there, and Hawkins is going to gain about 20. Maybe a little bit more. That's a really good run. Just about 20 yards on the ground there. That's a pretty good play. Come in with the same sort of look. Maybe try to split those corners with more. And they're still in the momentum, but they haven't really succeeded with it. That's a tough throw. And Howard gets that. Once again, that is a first down throw. And we talked about going with what the defense has given us. But I just feel like that's open. Maybe I need to throw it right here because, I mean, Hightower, I'm giving Hightower way too much credit here. He's not making that play even right here. We took too long to throw that. I will say, though, he's open enough, especially, eh. I mean, some of the elite players in the league, I will say that's crazy that Howard's the one to get that. If you look at it, it's, it's almost perfectly timed if Howard doesn't jump it. But, oh, my. All right, after getting completely smoked on the field, we uh, give the ball away pretty quickly, which is just not a good look for us. That out looks pretty good, and that's a really good tackle by Tyndall. A.J. Brown, who's a superstar, drops that. Of course, sometimes you get the perfect pop. The timing was great, so we'll take it. Second and 10, 5-Y, which we've never done well with, and we might have had that press. Peterson gets the pick. Block. Not bad to the 28-yard line. Both interceptions with a kind of boneheaded, uh, both quarterbacks with a kind of boneheaded interception. I think we might have had the uh, the speed rush with Burns, which I suppose probably a good thing we didn't get there. Is, I mean, Peterson's able to just jump that, who's, once again, I mean, kind of reminded me a little bit of Trayvon Diggs out here, which I know, it, you know what I mean, not in talent, but just the way they're playing right now. Obviously, uh, all right, Claypool, let's see it. Good catch. Tries to cut it. can He's not really the most elusive guy to the six, but you know what I mean. Patrick Peterson, great career, but as of this point, he's 74 overall. He's you know, kind of on the retirement look here. Don't really like the run. I just like the. I just think their defense is really well matched right now. I'm going to run it anyways. And that's a huge hit by Christian Harris. Ooh. Bye. Baseball. Get the slam from 2 2. Streak Turner. Streak Claypool. Curl more, but let's be honest. And we try to get out of there. Couldn't. They're, they're really locked down here in the red zone. I can't even lie, dude. We're going to try Atwell, and he hits the throw. That's a lot of belief in that out. That I mean, that play, like the reverse post, that's insane. I mean, we never, we never trust that. We threw a pick earlier in the season to something like that on Atwell. It was a little bit of a longer throw, but... Obviously, he has possession. What the hell is this question? Bad interception by us. Even worse interception by Watson, though. Leads to a 7-7 game. As nice cut on the counter. And wow. I mean, Tyndall's winning his matchup. Him versus Cook, it has not even been close so far. Tyndall has absolutely beaten him. That's really impressive stuff. Second and eight, though. In motion. Got to stay close to the line. And they will go over there. we got to try to bring up the help. And one-on-one -on -one Wade wins. Is Cook uh, coming back from an injury early, maybe? They have the size and the athleticism pretty, uh, you know, it's pretty bang average. Burns. 
And he's going to throw it away. Punt. Wow. Amazing coverage. And, man, of course, they kind of ran like a go rot with A.J. Brown, which makes no sense going against uh, Ifitu. I mean, that's the kind of player you don't want to just run straight down on a line against. They're both the same kind of speed and athleticism, you know, same height and everything. But if he tries to make a break, I don't know if we can follow him with anyone on our team, to be honest. As you're going to go up the middle and gain about five. Maybe six. Stretch look. We got the touchdown on this last time. We're going to go the left side again because it's kind of their weak side. As we're just not going to kick the edge. The tight end is just doubling with the left tackle. You just have to assume in that situation he's going to win his matchup. Whether he does or not, that's not your job. Unless the guy's clearly coming in free, you, you have to just leave him. And the tight end's open. But our left tackle gets crushed and we're going to have to punt. Yang just gets absolutely smoked here. I mean, you got one, two, three. I mean, we're trying to get that out there. You know, he maybe had a chance to go to 2-2, two -two, but obviously, you know, Cole Turner is the first to get open. And you can't throw it anywhere else, right? Like, maybe you can throw it right here, but that's a tough window with the other guy coming in. Maybe you can throw 2-2. Two -two. I mean, it's just tough. You just realistically need the block, simply put. Of course, they're going to try to maybe come with the block here, speaking of, ironically. Uh, but a Matt Ariza with that, that power gonna send this one into orbit and that's a huge pop by scott to the 39 yard line they've struggled a little bit in the run game and they're obviously going with that pass game because of it they're gonna just dump it down and really not get a whole lot well about five and we go back to man coverage man covers actually worked pretty well for us today of course i did move uh Melifon, well, even though he doesn't really fit that you know that slot corner role as much as some of the other guys on the team. Ah, we got beat and we missed. Uh, he just has played so well when he's come in as the number two that I just feel like he deserves the role. Wade is all right. Wade will still get playing time, but I just think I feet two deserves it. And we're just going to see what, it, you know, comes of it down the line. As there's just so much time to throw. Great tackle by Woolen in the open field against Ebron, but it's a gain of nine. Pass rush needs to do something. Might just jump this with Cox. Jump the Cox. No. To the out. And why are we going for the pick there? We're way out of position. Great job, Anders. I don't know who that corner was, but they're way out of position there. What are they doing? Is that a feet two? Who's over there? I couldn't really tell. Might have been Patrick Peterson. I'm not even going to speculate who it was. Because I just don't know. As Anderson's going to get a free rush. Watson kind of did that to himself you know anderson's kind of running up to to change position and he just hikes it right as you get up there so i don't know what to tell you there as jordan davis kind of getting beat no and jordan davis misses he gets a second chance though because of the linebacker it's that athleticism from jordan davis that you love got us you know the kind of the reason why he became uh, i believe our first draft pick this season third and seven Oh, that's a really good route by Cook. But the throw comes out late, and it's going to lead him out of bounds, making it a fourth and three situation, which, of course, we've played okay. We're ball hawking. You can't really blame him for going for the lead here. Wade can't really get there in time, but fair enough. Seven in the second, and we're in this. You know, we said this is a really good offense. Holding any team like this to three points is massive. Just comes out of the our offense needing to match that. As Scott's really not going to get a whole lot of help. Gets to the 23. We're going to go with the crosser look with the block and release. And we're just not even going to get that out there. Of course, Cole is just going to get uh, smoked there. We got instantly handled on the O-line. Sky Moore might have had a, a little bit of a look there. And we just don't even get a chance. They got everyone on the wrong side. But unless the center shifts over. And it works. I was That's what I was hoping to see. And it worked. Wow. Good job, center. Chris Paul with the play. My man, Paul. Not bad. Spring turned around the field. He's not the greatest deep threat, but he's he's a threat. And there goes Sky Moore, finally getting involved. And he's got some room. Works it all the way to the 39. We have the dive play. We're just going to turn this into slants. Look for that left side mainly. And that's a late read to Sky Moore. But once again, it's high tower, especially a couple years down the line. He's not as uh, athletic as he once was, which, to be honest, even then wasn't super athletic. We're going to get the play action into a blitz, potentially. As Skymore is going to be open again. The throw's there. 
He's going to be taken out of the six. We're moving. Offense is looking good from the six. Let's see if we can run it. Let's see if we can run it. Come on. Up the middle, and we're going to cut it out. Cut it back in. He's going to get down to the one. Let's hurry up to the line. Oh, it's an injury. Uh, I was going to say hurry up to the line, but I don't know if we can do that. <laughs> you know, it's an injury, so timeout. I will say, I, I mean, unless you get a free rush, I was about to say Hawkins is going to get the first of only needing two touchdowns. Look at him do the dance. We're looking a lot better as a squad this week. It's no doubt about it. There's just no doubt. And we just get locked up. But that opens up the linebackers. Jordan Davis, dude. I mean, once again, they're moving him off the ball, but they're not doing so that successfully because it's taking two of them. And, you know, it gave someone a free rush pretty much. Oh, that's a really good block. And there goes Dalvin with a nice juke move on Stearns. Gets the first... That's, like I said, the one thing we need to worry about is is Dalvin getting going. I don't know if I like this. Thank God they actually ran it. Nice. The blitz worked. It's risky, especially when you don't bring any, you know, it's so obvious. We're, I mean, coming down on them there. We've just got nobody over top, yet they still run it. They do have a great offensive line, but still, that's a lot to ask for, and that's got dragged out by the, the underneath dude. It's a good play. Melifonu coming off the edge. I think we're going to drop him back real hard. This is tough. That looked like a false start on the left tackle, by the way. And Stearns. Really good job one-on-one -on -one with A.J. Brown. I think we actually got back there with uh, Melifonu as well last second. We're going to bring five and drop Cox here. He <laughs> dropped those Cox. And nice job, Burns. Had a chance to honestly pick six that. All right, let's get those guys going on the other side here. Over the middle. I mean, where do you go? Tyndall! That's illegal. Almost picked. Wolin just got up there, dude. And this is a loss of down as well, isn't it? So this is actually probably going to knock him out of field goal range. I mean, look at this. I mean, my boy got up there. AJ Brown's huge. But look at Wolin, dude. I mean... Obviously, A.J. Brown tries to bring it down, and because of that, he actually almost caught it himself. But dude's insane. He just out-jumped. Well, maybe not out-jumped, but out-timed A.J. Brown, if you will. That's crazy. The size and athleticism. Love it. I mean, wollen has got to love that, right? He's got to love that. That puts all of his skills and what makes him great on display. The size, the jumping ability. All of it. Hawkins up the middle. And we just don't get the block at all. <laughs> Jesus. Kenyon Green got absolutely lost. But here we are in a really good spot. I don't want to say any more about it because I'm worried about making a mistake and changing that. But can't argue that this is probably the best start we've had all season. Second and 10 from the 10. Or the 11 pretty much. Screen pass. I'm going to try to cut it back. And, I mean, turns it into about two. Linemen are just so slow getting out there. And we have one of the most athletic offensive lines in the league, without a doubt. So I'm not really sure what the issue is there. But Renee, we're going to get a block from Hawkins, even though we're under center, which is a little strange. Yeboa. And he gets it there with all that pressure. Yeboa trying to truck. Kind of does. Howard gets kind of punished there a little bit. Not too worried about getting on the field in time. The only, the only worry I really have is just not throwing a pick. I don't really even care about scoring. And that's, I mean, I don't know if it's something, a yard. I was really looking for Cole Turner on that double, but Cole got beat. And they're going to booth review a yard. What are you doing? Oh, no, they took our yard away. What are we going to do? We're going to come after the league office after that one. You just wait. <laughs> and he's going to get hit as he's throwing. Oof. Maybe dropped off a little bit. Who comes to a Nighthawks game as a Nighthawks fan and says, gonna shut you down or shut you down? What, what, like, who have you been watching this season? Like, who have you been, like, rooting for? I don't understand what's going on. And, I mean, we're just getting crushed off the edge there. I mean, we're just getting smoked. I will admit, I kind of predetermined that left side a bit because I just saw the one-on-one. -on -one. I saw the way it was being run, and I honestly just believe... That comeback route from Claypool was going to be a first down. Maybe that's my fault, but I feel like with the speed of that pass rush, I can't really be blamed. 
And of course, they are going to try something with that timeout, but with the insane punt from the punt god, it's probably just going to be sent to halftime. Now they're going to throw it. Maybe have a chance. Throws it away. I mean, he had a chance to run, but I do. we do have a ton of speed. I think we catch him. And that's a really good hit. I'm going to get bold. This is crazy. Third and four. I'm getting bold. I don't care. And we need to get some pressure there. And Stearns. Oh, my God. Him and A.J. Brown have had some battles, but A.J. Brown, I thought, won that one. I thought he was going to win that battle. Nice block. Last second gets a really good block to set us free for eight. And it's weird saying set us free when it was only eight yards, but, you know, it's better than zero, I suppose. First and time, we're going to hit a screen early. And I think you just throw this away. Good job by Mond. A little risky, but, you know, kind of saw the play to throw it back at the running back. Maybe could have threw it to the right side. There was a guy that was open there, too, though. Slant to potentially open up Turner. Oh, my lord. Oh, that's just a dumb throw. That's just a really stupid, stupid throw. I mean, I see Claypool coming across. There's no chance, dude. I think they're expecting to have some time to throw, and we're just going to take that away. Well, we tried to take that away as Woolen, and we missed. Gets hurtled as well down to the three. Ah! Oh, just throw the ball away. I know our offensive line is absolutely trash, but we got to do things that we can control. You know, we got to do the right thing when we can. And the right thing there was just throwing the ball away, simply put. Uh, what are we moving for? I thought the running back was going to be wide. Can we get anything going? They're actually going to lose yards on that. They're going to lose five. We're going to get crazy. We're going to drop Jordan Davis into coverage. Um, Guys. Oh, my. You can't let them turn up field like that. They are going to go for the field goal at the two. You, I mean, I would try it another play, to be honest. But they're only going to be down by one now after our stupid mistake. So dumb. I mean, there's no excuse for it. All right, heading into the half, to, uh, you know, with some pretty positive things outside of some dumb boneheaded mistakes. Obviously, our uh, offensive line is still playing as bad as ever. But there's still potential. We're leading in this game. I think, yeah, I'm pretty sure we get the ball. I'm going to stop the run. I'm going to play the run. Again, once again, we're going to play with, you know, we're going to use the run and we're going to stop the run. That's the goal to start. It got us a lead with ball at half. I mean, I think it's just really the best bet. As Scott's going to turn that to the 27. Not bad. Play action. I really don't like playing all this to, to Howard's side, to be honest. There goes Hawkins, speaking of. Gets the first down. Why would you ever want to come here to play quarterback? I mean, I know you don't really get the choice necessarily, but that's just nuts. Throw it away, and that's going to be grounding. Not the most uh, creative play call. Intentional grounding has got to be the worst penalty to ever get. It's just such a bad one. And once again, instant pressure off the edge. We are also not helping. You know, we're like, this is where the drop back is, and we're still dropping. I will say, Niang's losing anyways, but we're not helping him. We got to step up, and it's, it's just so hard because it's like a never ending cycle. And honestly, it's third and 22. We just give up on the freaking drive. Hawkins is actually going to get a ton of yards, actually. It's fourth and seven, though. I mean, if you're inside their 40, maybe. But at the 41, we can also get a good punt off. Ah, the bounce. Oh, it was a... Tr it, it, it had the try in it. It had... I love it. I love the effort from the bounce, but unfortunately, it's not going to get there. There's Jabril Cox. He is very athletic. Cephas is not maybe that athletic. Oh, we just... Oh, there goes freaking... What's his name? Dalvin. Oh, my God. Patrick Peterson, you God. Once upon a time on the same team. Comes down with the tackle. Love that. That was crazy. Of course, if it was actually to the receiver, he would have died. But unfortunately for us, he did not actually get the ball. As Jordan Davis. Wow, Dalvin Strong. Um, Woolen. And Woolen picks it off. He was just baiting him. Lost to Cephas earlier. Did not lose that one. Although I will say, I mean, these looks where they're spreading everyone out, they really haven't done well on the interior. I just think Hightower is really just past his prime. We're going to hurry up to the line. I actually like that look. Third and inches. Screw on it again. They're not ready. 
I mean, I don't know what they're doing here. Hawkinson gained about seven. Yeah, I mean, this really just shows, like I said, how out of his prime Hightower is. I don't know if I feel great about this. Yeah, 2-2. Two, two. Nice spin move on Howard, actually. Gets about seven, maybe eight. It, I mean, I don't like the screen when it's going to Howard's side, but... I was about to say, I do like the blocks, though. Good block by, was that 2-2 two, two on Howard? Howard's had himself a really good day, but the last couple of plays, he's definitely uh, definitely not had a good time. Play action, the run game's obviously working. And that's a tough one. And on Howard again. Sky Moore with the catch. I mean, I learned my lesson. I stood tough in the pocket. It scared the hell out of me, I'll admit, but it worked. First and 10. Gonna believe in the line, and the line works. No cut move from Howard. I mean, obviously he tried, but he just didn't get it. That would have been huge. And Hawkins, I believe, already has his uh, his scenario. But once again, you know, after that first half, we were looking pretty good with it. I wasn't too worried. Got to give some credit to Sky Moore in this game. He's he's looking pretty good. Want some trouble? Wow, that is some speed. Who is that? Is that just in Chenna and Wosu? Of course, he was you know a little bit faster to the start than we were. But I'm gonna streak more just to try and get a better look. And that's a late read. That's picked. That is just overthinking it. That's frustrating. See, the problem is I'm looking at the right side because, I mean, there's just nobody on Cole Turner. And I just can't tell if Howard's going to jump that. And, of course, he just doesn't. That was literally my pre-snap read. Streak more. I mean, you get that throw there, right? I mean, Howard's a freak, but it's just so dumb. Like, we're just blowing the game here. I mean, it's just absolutely blowing the game. There's no art, you know, there's no excuse in it. Good drives, stupid mistakes, and wide open to the outside, but a terrible throw. Cook can't get the feet down. I mean, Watson, considering the difference in pressure, is absolutely playing worse than Kellen Mond right now. I mean, it's not even close. This Jackson's going to try to make a play. Good tackle. Almost losey. Bobbles it a bit. Tyndall's got a little bit of hip power under the belt. Third and four. Come on, Burns. Oh, that threw me off. I actually kind of like this look a little bit more in general. Cox is pretty good coverage. And there goes Patrick Peterson again. Doesn't get the feet down, but our interception will lead to a punt. What is happening in this game? Both quarterbacks look awful. Once again, Watson, considering the surrounding situation, is playing much worse. And Anderson turns it up. I mean, I like Anderson as a starter. But, I mean, he has looked okay in the receiving or the return game. Of course, they're looking at the stats. And it is no surprise that uh, we started out a little bit better. We're still accurate. We're just making bad decisions. Costing drives and making that interception total look way worse. And, I mean, that's just... That one's on Kellen Mott. I'm not even going to want the block and release. I just want the block. And they're just not going to keep up with 2-2 two -two on that as he's going to gain about 15. I just think no matter what, we need to just be confident. Just just take it. Even if you throw a pick pre-snap, if the corner makes a crazy play, the corner makes a crazy play. Simply put, as you know, Gilmore intercepted us and we lost a game because of it because he decided to go off script and made a crazy play. I mean, you just can't do anything about it. Instead of second-guessing ourselves, there's just too much to worry about. And there's no one on Atwell, but it's going to be a hold. I was wondering why the blocks look great, and this touchdown is coming back. Got to run it down, though, because you just don't know. It could be pass interference or a late hit, but unfortunately, you can see the culprit. This is coming back. That is a huge loss. 61-yard touchdown instead, a potential drive derailer. But what I do have to say about it is if we were going to get sacked, I respect it. You know, it's better than just giving up a sack. If you give up a sack, we're losing the game automatically. Quick throw and miss. Sky Moore had a chance to catch that. You hit that throw and we're getting probably, you know, third and 10, third and nine situation. Instead, it's third and 17. We're going to block Mr. Hawkins. And we're going to hope for somebody to get open. Sky Moore and Sky Moore will turn it into a, a decent gain. It's a fourth and five. The defense has made plays. I think you play defense yet again. But, you know, just think. Once again, their defense might have changed if they didn't have uh, 17 yards to work with. Pretty good punt. But 
if you get that five yard, you know, we were looking at probably a seven yard gain to Hawkins on that play before. Maybe it's a first down instead of a punt. I'm just saying. But once again, I, I can't really tell because it might have been their defense lined up based on a really good job by Jordan Davis based on the uh, the yards to gain. Who's better? Who got it better than us? Um, A lot. Like a lot of teams and a lot of people. We're coming with the blitz, but we're going to we're gonna keep Melifonwu. And that, I mean, it gets him out, and he's going to throw it away. We'll say with Watson, he's been good at, you know, avoiding the pressure and throwing it away when he has to. And honestly, the way they're lined up, mid works here. Mid absolutely works here. And he gets, wow, what a throw by Watson. There was some traffic there, including... Uh, you know, the pressure. Oh, that's a good play by him. I think that was the best time to run that if it was going to be ever. We could bring Anderson inside a little bit because Pat Peterson's back there. Shifting the whole line to that side. And good job. Well, I mean, good job to hold that off. And my Lotta is injured, of course. You know, Drake Jackson having some struggles over there. Hasn't really gotten anything going. Going to be going against the backup now. Maybe he has a chance. Almost entering the fourth. And that's a good swim move, but of course, Watson maneuvers it, and what a block! Oh my lord, get him! Cook to the 37. AJ Brown kind of just bodies him up a little bit, like he's in, you know, basketball. He's like a center. Just kind of boxes him out, and then he physically gets the block. That was an amazing play, and unfortunately, that's going to lead to a huge gainer. And that's a... Cook has been close. I mean, we've limited him as much as you can limit a guy like Dalvin Cook, especially with his offensive line, but he is kind of coming alive here at the worst possible time for us. Well, against us, I will say. Not really for us, as Cook just trucks right over Tyson Anderson. Defense actually playing pretty damn well. We had a chance. We absolutely had a chance to blow this game open, and we've just ruined it. I was about to say, oh, nice tackle. Cox knocking that out. We can definitely move down the field. We just can't finish drives. We're, it's going to take something. I don't know. Almost kind of want Kylan Hill in just as his, you know, as a blocker. He just got beat. Burns. Oh, I think he had a chance. Burns is very athletic, and I think he might have gotten him. But Watson, I think, trusted. I, I think he believed in Burns more than Burns believed in himself. I think he had a touchdown. Kink it off the line, and that's a touchdown anyways. I guess it doesn't matter. A.J. Brown. Ugh. Two wide receivers. I don't know if I even believe they're going to run it. Yeah, I believe they're going to run it. Run commit time. And doesn't matter anyways. Touchdown. We just, I mean, on a run commit, they're handling us. Well, just like that, we're down seven, and we're looking like we're going to lose. Love it. Turner, who really hasn't been involved today, gets a nice play. Buries a guy. Tries to do it again. Puts two hands on the ball as somebody's trying to strip it. We're going to go with uh, the vertical look here. Claypool, potentially. And that's a really tough throw, Cole Turner. Not going to get there. I mean, we believed in the line as much as we could, but honestly on that one, I it wasn't even the line I didn't believe in. The routes, I just knew they weren't going to get open. We were just kind of getting antsy. There's just not really much you can do when you know the routes aren't going to win. Cole Turner maybe had Yeboa after, but... Once again, I don't trust the line at all. First down is a first down. It's Christian. Although I will say you do have Hightower over there. Might have had room, but Kalamon has a lot of room. And he's going to slide. Huge gain, 18 yards. First run of the day. First scramble of the day, I should say. Hit this play action earlier. It worked. Turner on the block. I almost want to block Yeboah as well, but... And he wins again, and it's a missed throw. Howard has not been good on that. I don't know if he's just, you know, keen in on something else he sees on that, but he's just been missing. RPO look. I don't know how I feel about this with that, Will. And Kellen Mond is going to turn it into a gain of about seven. Manageable. I don't think the field goal's in play here. I also don't feel like they're in play here. Spencer Brown, this is all you, buddy. I mean, that's just awful, dude. That's just awful. You have the matchup, and you can't win that. 
don't get me wrong, Hightower is a good player, but like, it's 5v4 at best. And they just, I mean, like, like number 66, who is that? Oh my god, he's just been so bad for us ever since he's joined the team. He really has been. And the running back's open, and he misses the throw. Un unbelievable. Unbelievable. Not only is that a first down, that may be a touchdown. And instead, it's their ball turnover on downs. This is actually ridiculous. And once again, we give up contain. Watson's learned that now. He's not going to stop this time. Burns has been awful. He's he, We're trading him. Hands down, we're trading him. We need a lineman. And we just get beat on that again. I mean, they haven't really handed it to the in motion, but it just seems like such a smart play because we're usually awful on the edge. So I'm just like, stop it, you know? Stop the uh, stop the motion, man. Oh, that's bad. Yeah, we stepped up hard there. I mean, another first down, but good tackle, I guess. But we're, we're going to have to get more risky now. We're coming with the blitz. Try to do this the the easy way, if you will. We have no choice but to go for it now. Good job. Good job, Melifon with a big body. Takes him down, loses two. Field goal range is suspect at this point. Jabril's a little bit more athletic than most of the linebackers on the team, so we're going to go with him. And he has a touchdown. Melifon Wu. Whew. I got to say, Melifon Wu and his uh, new role has been massive. We're stuck with Togi Eye. The running back is so open here. He's going to take the running back. And he's going to miss. Melifon, we just sold. But he maybe got enough. Oh, my. He just keeps running to the side. He's obviously going to cut in. What is he going to do? Run to you and make your job easier? That is such a fail. That's a good job by uh, Cox there. But, I mean, they're wasting all the clock. We're just almost let him walk free. Flag, if that's on them, which it should be, I mean, you have to accept this. This is, this could be a massive bailout for us. Because that is going to send them back to the 38, which is, once again, debatable field position. I think from 40, they were like, eh. Get out there. Good job. Drake Jackson. We'll let it hit the two minute. We need that. I mean, the timeout's two minutes, same difference, anyways. I don't feel great about this being a crowd. Uh, yeah, I was about to say, I don't like the chances. Hey, the chance that comes the back to the right. That holding call has been, I mean, that's a huge call. They're going to go for the field goal, dude. Is that Prater? We don't get there, and that kick looks good. Wow, that was easy. I mean, that was easy. Oh, come on, Prater? Damn, dude, he is a strong leg kicker, too. I get we're confused, but the running back should not be a part of this stupid uh, wrong hot route crap. And he misses. That's, a, that's an interception. Game over. Yeah, I mean, we didn't do any uh, favors for ourselves, and Kellen Mond absolutely did not for the team. That's a good read. You know, the safety's kind of out there for the tight end. I mean, it's, it's perfect time, and it's just a miss. I mean, there's no chance he's getting to that. Like, hit the throw. Need an miracle, boys. Need an miracle. And we're not going to get it. A blocked field goal is the best chance for us to get back into this game. Not into this game, you know what I mean? And he misses it. Why didn't that happen the last try? The game absolutely changes if he doesn't, you know, if he misses the field goal, we're not forced to force it. You know, I will say it was a bad throw no matter what, but we're not forced to throw that in, right? And we just don't have enough time. I was going to probably just take the shot, but don't get enough time off the freaking line to do that. <laughs> so what am I supposed to do? Once again, that uh, that high tower fella is pretty, pretty iffy, and I mean, I kind of feel like the smart thing is to go for the field goal. But with the fact that we have been close to being blocked this season, I would like to try one shot, and that's pretty open. That's a touchdown. I mean, 
It's a small chance. It's it exists. And that's not a garbage time touchdown either. That's really bad by them. I mean, once again, we're not going to have enough time, so if we don't get the onside, it's screwy. Love the celebrations from a team that is more than likely about to drop game five. Well, have lost five. I don't know how to feel about this, but let's do it. Come on. It goes right to him. And we don't even let him get up. Good job. Obviously, he was probably not going to go up anyways, but still. Uh, game we lose by three again. It's not going to, you know, it looks better than it was because realistically, that final, like, five minutes, the game was pretty much over double digits. All right. The coach kind of uh, on the hot seat. Might be, you know, I mean, like, we know the roster's bad. We did win two games, but it was a team that went 0-17, and, and they are now 2-5. There, we, there might be some need for changes. Of course, Brian Burns, I think, needs to be replaced. We loved what we've seen with Shaka Tony in uh, preseason. Osai is not the worst player himself. He was a starter on this team last year. Maybe even get like a veteran off the team we're trading with. You know, maybe like a like an older guy that can just provide some some depth. Maybe provide some uh, valuable experience until we draft another guy or something. But the tackle position needs to be upgraded, and Brian Burns is the best way to do that. Of course, Hawkins, 17 for 97 with a touchdown. Actually, a pretty good game. Uh, Sky Moore, 9 for 131. Uh, Ebron had a lot of receiving yards as well. Uh, Cole Turner was okay. You know, we really didn't get him involved until the fourth quarter. Kind of came up clutch. Uh, Hawkins, 2 for 13. And Claypool, another guy I'm kind of like, he deserves to probably be traded as well, but he doesn't have that level of uh you know prestige as a guy like burns does burns probably does get you some some value but i don't know if claypool a wide receiver who's kind of struggled to get open and doesn't seem to jump all well gets you much but a couple of upgrades caden stearns gets one of them nothing really major there ben barch who honestly as of late might have been playing as our best lineman of course he's a guard not as uh sten strenuous but He's kind of played pretty well. Paul has been a little iffy. Green has been really bad. Uh, really good upgrade from Paul there as well, actually. But Green's been awful. Actually awful. Once again, he's playing a position that isn't, you know, technically something that's familiar with him. He's a smaller guy. Probably does deserve to just play center. But still, we need more from him. And, of course, talking about Javion Hawkins. I don't know why we would think of him as a serviceable backup when he's been the guy getting all the carries. But 20k XP. That is huge. It's what she said. And wait. Hello? Trying to tell me uh, a low overall like Hawkins, 20k XP doesn't upgrade him. I'm about to say four upgrade points. Excuse me. Uh, I will say, obviously, I want him to be an elusive back, but I would like to upgrade power a little bit. Just not really so he can truck people. That's not really what I'm expecting of him, but just so he can take a bit of a, a punishment if he needs to because obviously we're our line kind of sets you up for a hit or two uh, as he's actually developing his change of direction pretty nicely uh, and what do we get up here it really seems like some bad upgrades for juke move i mean i guess it's not terrible he's a lower overall but 88 juke move would love to see a speed or an agility upgrade but he did get his change of direction up quite a bit i mean he's serviceable he's he's played pretty well for us he's been you know about as good as you can be with a line like this, to be honest. So, that's all I can really say. But we got Hawkins, a dev up. Finally, a breakout. I don't know who would get a breakout next. <sighs> I mean, Sky Moore has been playing pretty well for us. But I suppose Cole Turner, maybe. Uh, Tyndall's played really well. Uh, Melifon, I really liked what he did last week. But, yeah, we're about to have the bye week. And we're going to be, like, rolling right into week nine with next episode. So, if we're going to make that trade... For some sort of lineman. I mean, I just think if Brian Burns is being traded, it's a wide receiver or a lineman, nothing else. There's nothing else I would trade him for. I, I think everything else is just good enough. Obviously, we can use an upgraded corner. We can use an upgraded safety. We can use a linebacker upgrade. We can use edge, ironically enough. We can use a DT. But as far as our glaring needs, O-line without a doubt, and then wide receiver wouldn't hurt. So if not those positions, he's probably sticking around. So we'll see what we can do. And, yeah, next game will be against the Colts. But our playoff hopes are, uh, I mean, they're falling apart here. I mean, the Eagles are 1-5. They have a chance to hop us this week, it seems. Uh, overall, 
our really good start to the season has not been great. Of course, if you want to see the gameplay sliders, I think I actually did tilt them slightly in our favor as well. Uh, run blocking was 52, as uh, we were just getting no blocks before. We'll see how that affects, you know, if that's too good going against a team with a good line. You know, you know that last team was obviously really bad, so it's kind of hard to tell if that made a factor or not. We upped our tackling slightly. We were still missing tackles, but... I like where we're at with sliders right now. I think they're pretty good. Regardless of, if you enjoyed this one, which I still enjoyed it. I mean, we could literally lose the rest of the games, and I'm still enjoying it because it's a challenge. I like the challenge. I, I mean, I haven't played Elden Ring, but I kind of want to at some point because I just like to be bent over sometimes, you know? It's my kink. But <laughs> if you guys did enjoy it, maybe leave a like. Maybe subscribe if you're new. Do a ton of franchise stuff. We actually hit a couple of our goals there, almost the rushing one as well. Um, but... Maybe follow me on Twitter, Jumping Care, and uh, Second Channel, P Care Plays. I would like to potentially stream this series on uh, Twitch at some point, so maybe follow me on twitch.tv slash Jumping Care. I just haven't really been super motivated to stream, just the scheduling, the timing, my sleep schedule has been bad, and overall, I mean, it just seems like people watch Madden and then they just, like, hop off and leave. So that's why I kind of really haven't felt like streaming in general anyways, but I probably should get back to it. It is what it is. Uh, but yeah, that's about it. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you guys come back for next video, but until next video...